let's learn about union statement in mysql so what union does is it is used to add rows to the existing table so the difference between union and join is is join joins the two tables horizontally meaning it joins the records from one table and attaches it horizontally in union instead of attaching it horizontally think of inserting rows at the bottom of the table so it is appending values at the bottom of the table now to do that you will use a keyword called union now when you use the keyword union it will always return distinct values but if you want default values or if you want to see all the values the keyword that you are going to use is going to be union all now here is an example again we have uh, two tables so the first table is the customer table where uh, there are three customers john doe jane myers and mike daniels uh, they live in the city of mumbai delhi and bangalore the second table is the employee table we again we have three employees 101 102 103 and we have cities nagpur chennai and hyderabad when we run the union statement what happens is you get a table that looks like this and as you can see these three values nagpur chennai and hyderabad are appended meaning they are added to the bottom of the table 1 okay the syntax is fairly simple the syntax is select column name from table 1 which in our previous case was select city from the uh, customer id table union select name from table 2 so in that case again it was select city from the employee table let's take a look at this with the help of a demo like in the previous example i have created a table called the employee table it only has two records there are two employees jane mccarthy and luke daniels and they live in the city of dallas and chicago i also want to show you quickly what our select star from customer looks like so again we have 16 records here and these are all the cities so what i want to do is i want to show you how union and union all works with the customer table along with employee table i just want a list of all the cities so what i'm going to do is i i'm going to say select city from customer then i'm going to use the keyword union select city from employee so when i do that and i click on run i'm going to get all the values okay now these are only going to run distinct values now see what happens when i run the union all command so again take a look at this list we have johnsonville anaheim davenport chicago and so on the last value here is dallas so i'm going to do union all and this time it's not going to return distinct values because we do have one employee who lives in chicago so that value is going to be repeated twice so let's take a look at that when i run this and i scroll down there you go i see chicago listed twice and the reason again is if i go here select star from employee and click on run we have luke daniels who lives in chicago so that's all there is to the union query again the difference between join and union is join you bring in values or we bring in rows from another table but you attach it horizontally with union you are inserting rows to the bottom of the table you are appending values to the bottom of the table and once you know this you will be able to figure out or run queries that can help you to do some amazing data analysis and help you to provide key insights to your leaders i'll see you in the next lecture